Hi, I'm Quentin Fortrell from MarketWatch. Apple released the iPhone 6 today and has gone on a publicity campaign to launch the product. But here are five other things Apple isn't telling you. Number five, the download is dead. Apple shook up the music industry with the introduction of the iPod in 2001 and the iTunes Store in 2003, but the days of the download may be numbered. Digital music downloads fell for the first time ever in 2013, according to data from Nielsen Sandscan, a trend that has continued into 2014. Music streams, on the other hand, surged 32% to 118.1 billion songs last year. The days when people spent thousands of dollars on music are gone. Number four, we're ruining your sex life. People are taking their iPhone with them into the bedroom and into their bed. In fact, one in five people reach for their phone as a 21st century replacement for the post-coital cigarette, according to one report. Recovery centers also say mobile devices are making some bad habits even worse, and location-based apps like Tinder can fuel sex addiction. Number three, the iPad is our problem child. The iPad may be slowly heading in the same direction as the iPod. While it still brings in a hefty amount for Apple, sales have fallen for the last two quarters. So why the slowdown in iPad sales? On average, Americans recycle their iPhones every two years, but only upgrade their iPads every two to four years. Number two, our fans turn a blind eye to our faults. Apple's customers will put up with a lot from reports of poor working conditions at manufacturing plants in China to lesser issues like a botched launch of Apple Maps in 2012. Wherever Apple goes, they will follow. In fact, 78% of people admit to having a blind loyalty to Apple. Couldn't imagine having a different type of phone now, according to a recent survey of 2,000 iPhone users. And number one, we're running out of ideas. There's good reason why the launch of the iPhone 6 is generating so much hoopla. Apple gets more than half of its revenue from the iPhone. Or put another way, Apple CEO Tim Cook is heavily reliant on that gadget to prop up the company's share price. Analysts say the iPhone should be the firm's core business for quite some time, and they won't have another blockbuster product anytime soon. Some analysts expect the company to earn $100 billion in 2014 from the iPhone alone, and that will be hard to beat.